Hey there guys, Skippy here from Skippy6 Gaming coming to you from Roller Coaster 101 World. I think we're going to have to think of a cool name for this roller coaster. Um, people have been coming in doing pixel art on the on the iron bars. I don't really mind. Anybody can just come in and make a statue. Pretty much the rules are if I don't like it, I take it down. Um, ultimately, uh, some of these pieces are going to be taken down for larger pixel art pieces. Again, I am looking for people to do larger pixel arts. Um, if you want to do one, send me a friend request. The PSN is in the description. Don't just say I want to help with the roller coaster or don't just send me a blank friend request. Um, my friends list is currently full. Every weekend I unload a few uh, people that are a little inactive or whatever the case may be and accept a few more. So I am making space for people that are going to specialize in larger pixel art and or a focus piece here or the earthquake scene up there um, or a jungle room. I pretty much think I'm going to master the jungle room there. I have already done a little bit of... Uh, Amazon Temple Volcano stuff before, so I'm thinking that's going to be kind of my baby up there. Um, but if you want in, make sure you send a detailed note with your friend request letting me know what it is you want to do, and uh, we're going to get it done. So on this one here, guys, we're going to take on, uh, I don't even know what episode we're in. I'm going to number them all when I do do them. Um, but in this episode here, what we're going to look at is something I learned from Neuropsych. So if you don't know who Neuropsych is, he made the Doctor Who roller coaster, the, the Ghostbusters roller coaster, the Beetlejuice one, all those crazy roller coasters um, and in his channel he has a few little tutorials and this one I saw on there so give a shout out to Neuropsych um, in my if you just go to my channel on my favorite channels list we're gonna have uh, FedEx Gaming Mumbo Jumbo and we're gonna have Neuropsych in there because after doing roller coasters for a bit I'm gonna give him a big shout out so this is something I learned from him I'm gonna use it a little bit different so but if you want to jump to his channel just go to my homepage and uh, look at my favorite channels and uh you can find a link to his channel there, and his roller coasters are nuts. Once you go there and you start looking at one, you're going to spend the next two hours on his roller coasters. Um, but that said, this is going to be a tutorial on how to make an invisible light source. Um, so a good example is right here, this Sonic, this poor Sonic. Uh, the young lad came. I'm going to go see if I can find out who made it. I think it's just from a tutorial in the first place. Um, I'm pretty sure this is Cheapy Expert made this, again, from a tutorial on YouTube. But the poor guy put it right under this thing. Again, he put it where I told him to put it, so I feel bad. Um, but that said, we can use this as a perfect way to kind of, what the heck is this over here? This guy didn't listen. You have to put the pixel art on both sides. Um, let's go over here and let's get back on track. So we want to light this up, but we want to not really be able to see. Like, you know what I mean? Like, how are we going to light this up? Um, so here's a good way to do it. If, if you were lighting up a ceiling, say, you could make it so it was completely invisible. But because you will be on the track here, you're actually not going to see too much of it because you won't be looking directly down. Um, so let's light up this Sonic with an invisible light source. So here's the trick. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and lay out some blocks. Again, these blocks are going to be removed. Um, I'm going to pick somewhere around, you know... I think I might put it one little bit lower than this. Let's put it right around here. And let's make a nice little row of a row of blocks. We'll do it five wide. Again, you can tell we're in kind of the dark here, right? It's not a good thing. Um, make a little platform like this. So what you're going to do, guys, is go into your crafting menu. Again, this is fully creative, um, but this will work for you. So get yourself some end portal frames and some eyes of ender. And that's going to be the start of this one. So make yourself an end portal. I'm going to actually do it right up against the wall here um, to try to make it look a little bit brighter. And again, you're only going to get so much light from this, but it is a cool way to have an invisible light source. Um, one, two, three, if you don't know how to make it. And then go ahead and put these here. So before you put the last one, make sure you got yourself nice and ready to do what you need to do. But... We want this, so basically from the ground level, from all of these like tracks right here, you're not going to be able to see this light source. Um, how come it didn't? Oh, you know what? I have a little bit of an end portal left over here somewhere. Um, I've been moving this around depending on where I'm going, and I think that there's going to be... There is no end portal left there. So this is a tricky one. How come I cannot make... And end portal. Let's go over here and see if we've done all of them. We have. Let's do it one more time. Hmm. That's going to be tricky. 
Okay, let's give this another try. I kind of shifted this platform. Um, I, I don't think it likes doing it in a spot where I just did it. And then basically, I don't think it wants to be right up against this wall here as well. So we're going to just move this off to the side a little bit. Make this work good. And let's put another row here. Hopefully, it'll work properly this time. And there we go. This one should be better. And over here. There we go. So now you got it. We have ourselves a light source. Notice how it shines up a little bit. But when we go over, it's still not going to brighten up the whole entire Sonic. But after you're done with that, basically all you got to do is delete this whole thing. Just make sure that you don't delete the hitbox for the end portal. Oh, I am right now. But as you can see, let's go around and do around it. It'll give you the basic gist. Again, you'll know exactly what to do. I deleted a few of them, but hey. One, two. Let's get rid of this and this. And there you go. So now you can see we have an invisible light source here. Um, <clears throat> used in the right way, uh, it's the best way to illuminate things without anybody seeing it. Again, once you're out of that chunk, what was that? something was here um, you can see that it's lighting up with nothing at all underneath it um, that said I'm gonna show you a better example of how it's doing that again I deleted two of them make sure you guys don't hit that hit that hitbox it would be a little bit brighter um, but a good example to show you how this is gonna work is I'll show you how bright it makes underneath it's perfect for lighting up like the things on the sky or the things on the roof of a map or something like that but if you'll look down you're gonna see that wall is illuminated right up there. So that's a cool little way of lighting things up. Again, thanks to Neuropsych for the video. Um, play around with it, guys. Fiddle with it. Do what you need to do. But that's going to be the best way to illuminate something, especially on the ceiling. If you were all the way down here, you can't even see whatever's lighting that up. Um, and that said, there you go, guys. If you want to see an invisible light source, this is how you get it. Um, don't forget, guys, hit that like button. Don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel if you want to do uh, a pretty cool roller coaster. Pretty much just follow the vids. And uh, there you go. That's your uh, invisible light source. Check you on the next video.